Hi, welcome back to the Cuzzy Sound Channel and another little box. The Octodrone. Now the name Octodrone suggests that we've got eight VCOs creating a drone. No. What we actually have is one VCO split into five octaves. So Octodrone is a contraction of octave drone. The circuit itself is based around the Barton Musical Circuits 4046 Wave Shaper that I built a while back as part of the Project 12 series. There'll be links. So what I've done this time round, and this was a question that was asked when I did the Project 12 version of it, was can I do a design that or can you run it from a single rail power supply so I thought could I do a design that ran from a single rail power supply well the main part of the circuit is based on a 4046 and a 4040 chip and yes both those will run from single rail power supply however in order to get all the outputs mixed together and put out as a single output the original circuit used a summing mixer that required a dual rail power supply. Well, what I've done for this little box is I've made it pretty much a, a self-contained drone unit. So based on that original Barton circuits idea, what we now have is a feed oscillator, which is another 4046 square wave and you'll see all this in a moment you then have the a, a, the slightly simplified version of the the Barton circuit only this time around the Barton circuit went down to divide 8 and up to times 8 I've missed off those two end ones to be honest with you if you get down to divide 8 then you're listening to clicks in the signal because it's basically an LFO and times 8 well entertains the dogs so I thought well five octaves is is enough for what I want to do but then the mixer section as you will see to get around the dual rail power supply situation I've actually just used a passive mixer arrangement and the output from the oscillators and, and the counters are it's high enough to withstand the passive mixer because uh, when you're passive mixing what you're doing you're attenuating signals uh, there's no amplification there because there's no power there anyway that's kind of the introduction to what this is about so what we'll do next we'll have a look at the circuit diagram and the strip board layout and then when we've done that I'll crank the thing up and you can hear some of the noises it can make Okay, so this is my circuit diagram for the Octodrone. Starting on the left hand side, what you have there is the first 4046 VCO. That essentially is the same 4046 VCO I've built many times over. Again, I'll put a link, link to that. Um, so there's there's nothing spectacular there. It's just a very very simple square wave oscillator. The output of that then goes through a 100k resistor and goes into what is now essentially the Barton circuit with the front end conditioning removed. So on, on the Barton circuit there was a an op amp used there to kind of condition the circuit to a a square wave output with no negative signal on it well we don't need that for this this is because this is all running from single rail there's, there's no problems with that so we just feed it straight through the resistor into the second 4046 and then from then on the circuit is pretty much the same as the original Barton circuit, a 
apart from I've not connected up the times 8 and divide 8 outputs from the 4040 binary counter um, but if you wanted to put those back in you could and just add a couple of extra outputs on the mixer section so coming to the mixer section as I said earlier it's a passive mixer so the signal goes into one end of a 10k pot uh, the other end of the 10k pot is connected to ground and then the center tap goes through a 10k resistor and out to a common bus which then is connected to the output jack so very very simple and you can just just keep adding those if you want to add or take away any more octave divisions so we've just got the five there well that's the circuit and what does it look like when you put it on a strip board well the strip board layout I decided to use looks like this so as you can see it's basically three chips and very few other components and a load of jumper wires connecting things to the right place and then the passive mixer basically sits on the pots themselves just pots with a resistor attached so nothing particularly complicated a lot of wiring not because of the mixer section but other than that really straightforward I'll put the circuit diagram and the strip board layout and any useful photographs in the Dropbox folder that I use and the link again will be down in the description when I do put it in a box it looks like this so if we look at the actual circuit board the circuit board section looks like this so yeah there you go you've got a very very simple circuit board very few components just the three chips but as I was saying earlier not a lot to build in this just need a bit of patience to do all the wiring talking about the wiring if we look at the mixer section which is actually built into the lid of the box that looks like this now what I've done to kind of make things a little more practical and, and a bit easier to deal with each of the outputs on, from the 10k resistors I've gone on to a piece of strip board which essentially gives me a, a, a bus a common bus to carry the signal out to the output jack and then we've got uh, the usual um, power switch and an LED to tell you that the power's on because as I always say when you're in these from batteries it's useful to know that you've left it on and your battery's running flat for no reason if we look at the top of the box we can see the controls here so across the top you've got the five octaves with the divide four divide two times one times two times four they're actually they're, they're the mixer pots that we saw earlier below that we've got the power on switch and the power LED indicator then next to that you have a pitch control so that's the pitch of the first of the 4046 oscillators that, that basically sets the reference pitch for which all the octave divisions are taken from then you've got a CV control so what you can do you can actually inject control voltage into the first of the the reference if you like uh, oscillator um, so you could run a, a sequence through it and mix in whatever octaves you want for each step in the sequence and then of course you, you need an output that's where the last jack is just the output jack so it's all reasonably straightforward like I say the, the complicated bit I suppose is, is getting all the wiring in the right place um, but that just takes patience okay let's go and see what it sounds like I'm starting with just just the drum we've got a sequencer here that I'll plug in a bit and show you how the CV works but for now um, we've just got the Octodrone. I've turned down all the way down 
the multipliers and dividers. So what we've got is the times one. So when I bring up the mixer volume, this is what I referred to earlier as the source or the input oscillator. Change the volume on the passive mixer. Of course, now I'm going to start bringing the octave. So, start with the multipliers times two. And the other times four. Then we can divide it by two. And then divide by four. And of course you can also then sweep the initial. There's a little bit of kind of slew. Um, um, sounds a little bit, yeah, a little bit lagging slew. Which is, it, there's a um, an RC circuit on the bottom part that creates that. Now on the original, which I think is another bit. On the original, you you could. Uh, there was a switch, so you could switch uh, how much of that effect was in there. On this one, I've, I've just got got one RC circuit, which is uh, a one microfarad capacitor. You can, you, if you play around with the value of that capacitor, you can uh, alter that effect. But I just wanted to keep the bo little box simple, so uh, I've simplified some of the parts of the original part of the circuit. You can kind of mix and match the uh, oscillators. Also, what I can do with my mixer is it has built-in effects, so let's add some reverb. Okay, it's a fairly basic. I'll take the effects off again. That's a fairly basic demo of the standalone box. But if we put a sequence in there and slow things down a little bit, and I'm going to get me a Grammy, but you know, it's, it's good enough for this demo.
Ah, uh, little darling, so right. There you go, a short demo of some of the sounds that you can get out of the Octodrone little box. So if you fancy playing around with a, an octave drone and maybe add a few effects in there and get a bit dramatic, yeah, I've given you all you need, so go on, have a go, build your own. <laughs> 